Hi, my name is Scott Phillips. I'm the president and founder of Starfish Medical. ID industrial design has always been a very central part of our vision and integrating the technology and the industrial design. In fact, we don't have those two as separate departments. They're both integrated within our product development group. Uh, so we've always believed that getting the interaction right is just as important. So recently, within the last couple of years, there's been a new standard, IEC 62366, which uh, defines usability engineering, forces companies to address those things, make sure they think about how the interaction's gonna go, particularly critical functions uh, that may turn the device off or change its operation in ways that may not be completely intuitive. Or how do you take something from being okay to being amazing? Start from the beginning and really get an understanding of how the devices are used within the field. And so that's one of the really important things that we do here at Starfish, especially in the Human Factors Industrial Design Group, is to better understand our users and better understand how devices are used within their environment. And so this goes beyond just understanding the technical aspects of the device and how to improve those parts of it, but rather improve the components to minimize user-related errors and to improve the user experience. And so we did some site visits, got to observe existing devices being used on newborns uh, in multiple different sites in the United States and uh, gave us a really good understanding of how, uh, what the user's daily workflow is and how they, you know, how they use these devices every day. What I like about medical devices is that we get to help people. Uh, we design devices that, that heal diseases or help them feel better. And what I learned from my past experience, which was consumer products, uh, that I can bring into this industry is that, you know, the devices that doctors and patients use, they still have to look good, they still have to feel right, um, they have to make this emotional connection with the users. And the skills that I, design skills that I learned from school and my past experiences, I can bring that into medical device uh, through form design, through color, through material and finishing. We had a device recently where we needed to have uh, a light sterilizing bacteria. If there was uh, light close to the bacteria, then it was effective. If the light was far away from the bacteria, it was ineffective. From soft goods uh, design, uh, I realized that Gore-Tex is made up of a fluoropolymer that when stretched becomes uh, porous so that the air can get through and the fabric is breathable but when it is um, uh, against water it's the, the water can't get through because the holes are so small. This also worked for this particular product where the light could get through uh, allowing sterilization of the bacteria, but the water couldn't get through and damage, or the mucus or whatever couldn't get through and damage um, the, the light that was doing the sterilization. So I was able to be a part of the project where I was able to design a hip surgery device that helped with the alignment. And I was part of the uh, user experience design uh, aspect of it. Um, I created really quick wireframe mockups um, that simulated a working prototype that we then presented to key opinion leaders. Um, they were able to interact with it full heartedly and they had a lot of fun with it. Um, they gave back very valuable information um, which we can use for our next iteration and to create something for our clients. For Integrated Surgical we designed a class 2 handheld surgical device that also required a entire system redesign for the operating room and to develop that we required a form of iterative development in human factors. To do this we outfitted our wet space as an entire operating room incorporating all the same lighting and technology as would be seen in the operating room itself and including a porcelain specimen that we were able to test, really test these products and show how they'd be used in the surgeon's hand. We were able to get surgeons from UCSF here in our facility to test those devices all the way through the development. So we were able to really refine this tool in the surgeon's hand to be awesome for them to use and become a market leading product on release. We actually believe that adoption is really driven 
by those positive recommendations of people who really love working with your product. And that's going to be more about how it interacts with them and how they love it, much more than the, the core technology of it. So we actually think there's a huge hidden benefit of having industrial designers involved very early in the project at a pretty deep clinical level.